Hey, welcome in my new video. Um, this time I'm gonna be improving my um, flood cooling system and the chip collection system. Um, so I'm gonna be replacing the tray which I made with a complete um, cover made out of 6mm thick acrylic which I'm gonna be laser cutting quite soon. And um, and I'm gonna be replacing my coolant pump with something slightly more powerful. Um, let's start from the beginning. Uh, why I decide to, to change it? Because um, I was milling a controller uh, cover or controller shell out of that piece of uh, aluminium. It's 12 centimeters by 18 centimeters by three and a half centimeters thick. And uh, <clears throat> the outside part, um, it was easy, no problem. The cooling, um, the, the, the previous cooling, cooling system was uh, almost good enough. And um, when I flipped the part to me the, the big pocket, um, then the, the well, <laughs> It was a bit uh, disastrous, um, <clears throat> so I ended up uh, standing with the open door and blowing chips with the compressor um, to help the you know the cooling system get rid of the chips, and actually didn't get rid of them. And I want to share the video um, which I took after um, I finished cutting it. So here, here we go. I just wanted to show you guys um, the mess I made uh, cutting just the internal part of this. That's the amount of chips. It's just, um, well, what to say, um, shocking. And um, definitely I have to work on uh, <laughs> on some uh, slightly bigger pressure in my um, flood cooling. So I don't know, maybe I will have to take like five different pumps or something. Um, yeah. And that's the finishing part. No finishing passes, just... Uh, um, how you call it, uh, adaptive, um, yeah, and, uh, that, that, that's my hand for the reference, so, you can see <laughs> the damage, <coughs> so as you, you've seen, um, that was the, the amount of chips, from clearing the one pocket. Uh, yeah, it's insane. Um, and um, so, the previous pump, uh, which was a kit and you know designed for flood cooling and stuff, it was uh, one point eight horse no, one eighth horsepower pump, which um, I think it's. 60 liters a minute uh, but um, I think it's closer to 10 liters a minute than 60 but <clears throat> oh yeah let's leave it so I decided to um, change it into a high volume and a low pressure uh, cooling so the idea behind a high volume is that whatever chips are flying off the mill will be grounded by the volume of the water and there will be enough water to wash them away um, at least that's the idea so um, I designed the new head um, for cooling uh, or spraying the, the coolant um, and I 3d printed it um, so maybe I'm gonna show you a few pictures when I was printing it. So that's you know like a bottom layer, you know somewhere in the middle, and uh, for the top 
I have to go to bed. <coughs> so, and uh, 3D printed looks like this. Um, it's, it's, it's very rough. Um, uh, I just wanted to have it printed and test it. Uh, so I wasn't really particularly um, troubled with the, you know, nice design and so on. Because, you know, this whole thing is kind of a work in progress. Um, so once I know it's working as I want that thing to be working, then I'm gonna make it something nice that I think it will be uh, some time from now. Um, and yeah, so maybe I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, it's gonna be spectacular, I presume. Uh, Here are the, the exhausts for the uh, for water and um, the outside ones are shooting closer and the more inside ones are shooting further down um, so I thought it would be kind of cool doing it that way <coughs> I guess you're asking yourself, what the hell, right? <laughs> um, so that was a 8,000 liter per hour pump, uh, which I took out of my pond. Um, and uh, I installed that in my coolant tank, and I think it will be a permanent installation. Uh, the pump was running for, I think, five years in the pond. Um, no issues whatsoever, stone stuff, mud, you know, allergies and things, it's working. Um, so I think in the machine it will be working as well. Um, okay, so you've seen the pump, um, and now let's go and do some laser cutting um, on the laser. So I have my laser cut parts uh, for the flood cooling and uh, so that goes here, that goes here, and in that's here, and that goes here, and that will be for the mesh. So I'm gonna put the mesh in between and cover with this. So. I'm gonna be gluing it with the uh, Acrefix. Acrefix. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so the sides first. Um, that goes like that. No, this one is this one as well. That glue is quite runny. Um, strategy uh, that glow apparently it's UV cured but it cures without the UVs as well 
by evaporating whatever nasty things are in, in this. Oh, that one is easier. Okay. And now that part. really expect that thing to undo itself. Uh, that's right, that's right. Um, that seems like this. So the laser entry point was on that side and that was exit. So when the laser is entering it's slightly wider than when it's exiting because it's burning more at the beginning or melting and things like that. And let's see if it's fit if it fits. Shit, it does. <coughs> okay. Um shy. dries really freaking quick. If I maybe I would do it at night with the lights off, that would be easier. <sighs> but I mean, uh, for the glue to don't dry, but um, it might be harder for me. <clears throat> so I kind of assemble it. And uh, I have to wipe the glue a bit, spread it. Yeah, I've been thinking to to make acrylic um, cover for the bucket and uh, and then the drawer, but. Uh, the the bucket doesn't have a support on the, on the middle <clears throat> uh, you know I could in theory cut the support and so on and I, I think I might do something similar but um, <clears throat> I made this as an integrated part so I can kind of take it and dump the chips um, so that's the kind of improved version of my chip dust collector dust collector chip collector um and that's supposed to go in here yep perfect with a bit of uh wedding dress and uh wedding dress whatever that thing is. It's pretty freaking awesome as a filter because uh, it's stopping even like really really tiny particles but it's not ob obstructing a flow. Uh, yeah so it will go like this and like that. How do you like it? Because I like it. Um, okay. 
And now I'm thinking, should I, like, have glue gun that thing or not? Um, because in my, um, in my previous tray, as you can see, um, that thing was flopping, and that was driving me nuts. Um, yeah, yeah, that was driving me nuts. So that's time for improvement. Uh, <clears throat> that's why I want that thing to be uh, kind of stopped. Okay, so that's my uh, clamping way. Uh, so I decided to glue um, the mesh, actually acrylic, through the mesh to the other acrylic with the acrylic glue. And uh, I used the uh, hot glue gun, but now it's not really necessary. Uh, I might just try to seal the edges a bit so the chips doesn't don't go there but uh yep so that's the progress So I glued the uh, old edges, and uh, <clears throat> so that's the chips won't go and stay in the cracks because that's kind of annoying. Um, so that, that's uh, pretty solid now, I think. And uh, let's go and put it into a tank. Okay, so. Here it is in the tank. So as you can see the chute is here. And that goes in here in theory. And the uh, tube from the pump and the cable. And all that's slotting inside the, the bucket. I think that's all for this video, um, the chip collection is working, the pump is working, uh, flood is working and um, I'm gonna be doing some cutting on my next video, um, not entirely sure when it's gonna happen but uh, it will be soon definitely, uh, so stay tuned and see you next time.